your hormones, all right? Things happen to your hormones when you're in a caloric deficit for a long time. Everybody knows the caloric deficit is what's gonna make you lose weight, all right? You're burning more calories than you're um, putting in, right? So that's what a caloric deficit is, right? You're burning more calories than you're taking in. You're putting out from working out and doing all kind of other stuff. Everything burns calories. You're burning more calories than you're eating on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, right? But at the same time, when you're doing that, you're losing weight, you're losing body fat, right? If you do it too much, you're gonna lose muscle mass. If you do it wrong, you're gonna lose muscle mass. And if you're just cutting out carbs, you're gonna most likely just lose water, all right? And not body fat, right? So you wanna make sure you're targeting your body fat by just doing it the way I tell you in top 10 misconceptions about weight loss. This ain't that video, so click the link if you need to know my whole way of doing things, how I got shredded. I got a six pack at 40, all right? Um, but yeah, I mean, your, your, your natural testosterone, you got cortisol, you got your, your leptin levels, you got your ghrelin levels. All of these hormones are highly affected on how many calories you're eating, all right? So, especially carbs. So for those who cut out carbs, you're really in big trouble, all right? Of course, your fats is gonna help your testosterone and this and that and third. But those who cut out carbs, you're in really big trouble. You really, you really need a cheat day, right? People that's on keto, I will, I would recommend, I would recommend not doing keto. But <laughs> if you do keto, you know, have a cheat day where you got some carbs, man. Replenish that glycogen. You know what I'm saying? Replenish that glycogen. Give your body a reset every once in a while. Make progress and give your body a reset. Eating bad for one day, quote unquote, because I don't think it's bad, it's actually a good thing, so I'm not gonna call it bad. But eating with freedom for one day isn't going to ruin your diet just the same way that eating good, quote unquote clean for one day isn't gonna help you, all right? A lot of people do that. I know this one guy, and I'm just speaking, I'm not saying his name or nothing like that, but I know this one guy. He was bragging to me like, yeah, man, because I was I was encouraging him and this and that and the third. I was giving him motivation. I gave him some tips and this and that and the third. So I'm not dissing him. I'm just using him as an example because this happens too much. My thing, I really need to get that fixed, all right? But um, he told me in a text, he was like, man, you'd be surprised, man. I ate this banging salad today and I had this and I had that and, and I had strawberries. And he was telling me all the healthy things he ate that day, right? or for that meal. I don't know if it was the whole day. A lot of people, they will eat good and clean for one time and think that it's gonna do wonders. No, it's like if I was to drop one of these drops of water into the ocean, it's not gonna do nothing. If I had a candle in the sunlight, it's not gonna, you're not gonna even see the candle. If it's a real, real sunny day and you light a candle, you're most likely not gonna see it the same as if you're gonna see it at night. It's, 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 it's little to nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing in a vast more, one workout. If you go to the gym right now, I'm going to the gym right now. If you go to every time I do a video, I'm going to the gym, but I never get no gym footage, man. This is BS, man. It's, it's terrible. I'll be on day shift this week coming up, though, so I'll be working out at, at, at two o'clock in the morning. So I will have a lot. I will make up it for it and then some. All right, I promise. All right. So and my deadlift is crazy right now. My bench press on dumbbells for my body size is crazy right now. So that gym foot is about to be stupid crazy. You've seen my gym footage before. If you haven't, do like this for a long time. It's been a minute. <laughs> do like this for a long time. Scroll through my videos or just type in rapid time fitness deadlift bench press whatever. And you will see it, all right? So, ab workouts, this and that and the third, right? Y'all seen the abs? You'll be so surprised on how I train my abs, all right? Or lack thereof, because I barely train my abs. Because the way I get abs is so effective that I don't have to, I don't have to go crazy on abs, oh, abs, 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 abs. And people that do that never get abs and wonder why. Mostly it's because of what I'm telling you right now, it's your diet, all right? It's way more your diet than your own workout when it comes to um, seeing your abs, all right? Revealing your abs. You gotta get rid of the flabs before you see the abs. You know what I'm saying? So, having a cheat day, especially enjoying yourself, 
on the holidays, all right? I don't even celebrate holidays. I'm gonna say this clear and loud, loud and proud. I do not celebrate holidays, but if I did, I will be pigging out on the holiday. I will literally pig out on the holidays. Why? Because I diet so officially and I get right back on it after the cheat day and that cheat day give me more energy to push even harder in the gym. All right, I hit, I set PRs in the gym after cheat day. What is a, what is a PR for those who don't know? For those who do know, you already knew that. If it don't apply, let it fly. Let the people who need to know what it is, let them learn, dang. I hate when people be doing that. And so a PR is a personal record, all right? So a set amount of weight that I'm lifting or how many reps I could do with X amount of weight. Progress, to do more. You know what I'm saying? That's what a PR is, a personal record. So I set PRs after cheat day because I got more energy, all right? Usually I rest better, I sleep better. I, you know what I'm saying? Get the itis, you know, wake up refreshed you know what i'm saying and then you, you, like i said your hormones all right a lot of a lot of bodybuilders they take what peds peds performance enhancing drugs they're literally hormones that they're putting in their body like i like to say it all, all the time that it's calories in calories out we all say that but it's not only calories in calories out it's also your hormones i don't really get into the hormone thing that much because if you're not an expert at, at, at messing with your hormones, you're gonna mess your hormones up. All I know is the proper nutrition is going to help your hormones, the proper vitamins, the proper minerals, um, the proper amount of proteins, fats, carbs, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I just count my maintenance calories. I go slightly under if I'm trying to lose weight, slightly above if I'm trying to gain weight. So I lift weights, I, I got muscle and all that, so I go through weight gain processes too. After I get done, my 40th birthday, after my 40th birthday, I'm gaining some weight. I'm going to gain weight. I'm talking to y'all about all this weight loss stuff, but then I'm going to gain weight because I want to make some more gains, you know what I'm saying? I want to get stronger. I want to get bigger. I'm not scared of gaining body fat in my off season, all right? So when it's winter time, I'm not gain, scared of gaining body fat, some body fat, some. Just a little. If I if that's what it takes for me to get bigger and stronger and add a little bit more muscle, I'm not scared of gaining a little bit of body fat. What's a little bit of body fat? Um, if I gain 20 pounds, some of it's gonna be body fat, some of it's gonna be water weight, and then a slight bit of it, hopefully, prayfully, it's gonna be some more some more muscle. All right. So your hormones got a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? That's why people shoot up more hormones because they, they done maxed out their natural ability to, 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 uh, to, to perform and to grow. We, we have limits as, 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 as people, all right? Now, everybody's not trying to build a whole bunch of muscle, but I'm gonna say this. We have genetic limits, all right? A lot of people see these people on TV, they see the internet, and they think that, oh, I'm gonna look like him, or I'm gonna look like her, because women do it too. I'm gonna look like her because I work out. No, you're not, most likely. A lot of these people, the ones that stick out the most, those are the ones most likely, not all of them, but most likely are shooting up that needle, all right? And with women, it's even worse because they're doing that and they got BBLs and all that. So you got you got women, they got all these booty, uh, <laughs> all these booty workout videos and stuff like that, and, and they got a BBL, they got a surgery. 